It is October 29th, and I'm sitting in the blind in Illinois, and I could not be more excited. You know, we all dream of this next two weeks. We sit there and think about it all year long, and we are here. 2021 rut is full swing. October 29th. Man, what a great time to be alive and what a great time not to be at work. While the rain has started, we're just a little less than 15 till 11. We had a great morning, honestly. We saw a lot of deer. Um, this rain is really picking up. So it is time to go scout and hang a set. Ooh, yes. a bunch of stands during that nasty rainstorm that we had. Um, I'm freezing because I'm soaking wet, but uh, the wind's good for this spot. I'm, I'm pretty pumped. It's got a lot of west in it. It was supposed to be straight out of the north, which is better. So we're looking pretty good. Hunger down and see how tonight folds. You know, I want to shoot the first mature buck that comes out and, you know, it's I don't, I mean, I've never killed a deer off this farm and I've owned it for almost five years. So it'd be really nice to, to get a buck off of here. This deer keeps staring back and, yep, there's another doe coming in the plot. All right, let's, uh, there's gotta be a buck close by. Nice. filming in the rut. Hate it. Freaking giant shooter in the field and I can't do anything about it because I'm trying to film and shoot it. It's hard enough to get a shot off. They caught some movement down there. That was my target buck. <sighs> he was locked up and looking at something. I couldn't figure it out. Like it was a coyote or something. I don't see anything. And I couldn't get this window open. And he's gone. That was the giant nine as a huge buck. I'm so upset right now. I mean, it's what you self filming. I mean, it's, and it is a disaster when you're trying to self film. I could have killed him 100% if I wasn't trying to film. I don't know what spooked him. They, they were spooked by something down there. It didn't seem like they were spooked by me, but whatever it was, I doubt they're coming back. That was my chance and I just blew it. I mean, that was my, that was a big, mature, giant, freaking nine pointer. That was a beast. If I wasn't self-filming. I'm committed with you guys. You know, I want to bring you along. And I'm just so frustrated. Go. Oh. Pretty excited over here to see uh, to see what comes by. Man, November 11th, 
What a day to be in the woods. God. Wish me luck, guys. Illinois has been my nemesis for, you know, five years now. I've hunted Illinois for probably seven years and I've never killed a buck in Illinois. So in not five years, I haven't killed a buck off this farm. So I'm hoping that changes tonight. Oh, he's too young. Gosh, I got so excited there for a second. I thought that was a big shooter. As long as they're mature, they're getting an arrow. Well, wish me luck. Freezing cold, November 13th. Good day to be in the woods. Maybe this morning will be the day we break the five year curse for this farm. Shot. 
is right at 40 right here, but I can't shoot. He's got to come closer. I cannot shoot where he's at. smoked the big nine guys <laughs> that was a rodeo that same buck i almost got a few weeks ago self-filming cost me and he caught me coming down that same spot in the food plot and then today he was at 31 and i went full draw and he kind of worked his way towards me and i had to let down I had to let down and, and then he chased a doe. So then I had to open up a second window and you guys saw right before I shot, he kind of got real nervous and he was burning a hole in me. And then finally he looked off and I drew my bow as slow as possible and shoot 90 pounds. You know, that's not easy to do. And I buried the pin baby and let her eat. And it looked like it smoked him. She's gonna be so pumped. I got such a supportive wife. Hey. Babe, I smoked the big nine. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> self, self filmed and everything. Cool. Now, I feel really good about the shot. I feel like it was perfect. Top of the heart. Oh, you FaceTime me? Oakley. <laughs> yeah. They, Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for letting me run out here to Illinois and uh, get the job done. Especially you, little lady. Hi, Oakley. Yeah. She's watching, she's watching football. <laughs> well, FaceTime and my two favorite girls in the whole world. And uh, gosh, I am so, so pumped. I'm tagged out in Illinois. Five year quest, finally closed the deal. When are you gonna look for? Honestly, probably right away. I think he's totally dead right there. I just don't see how he could have survived that. So nice. I'm going to go right now. I spend three minutes. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Love you, buddy. We got it done. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, go get him. I mean, I need to rewatch the footage, but we're gonna go get him right away. We got a little bit of light left. Let's go get some, some daylight shot. All right. I saw him go right over here. This was the last place I saw him. Oh 
Oh God, there he is. I walked right upon him. Oh, oh yes. Wow. We did it guys. Wow. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow. Oh, what a buck. What a good old buck. Exit came out right behind the shoulder here. I mean, wow. Self-filming, Illinois giant. He made it through the first gun and now we got him in between the second gun. What a beast. I'm so proud of this buck right now. Self-filming definitely has its challenges, but goodness, we pulled it off. This is actually the buck I was really hoping to get. He's the big nine and he's definitely the most mature buck on the farm and, and uh, biggest body framed. I mean, he's just a beast, tons of mass, just a beautiful, beautiful buck. My God, and we beat the light. We just gotta, we're not gonna get photos like this, but heck, we're going to uh, probably head over to my buddy Tim's house and get photos there. So, man, goodness, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. As you guys can see, 2021 has been the best year for the Bomars. I mean, we're talking legendary years. This is my fourth buck this year, which beats the, which is the most deer I've ever killed in one season. From Superstar to Dozer to Stacked, and now the Big Nine. What a year. I couldn't be more grateful sitting behind such an old buck. And guys, if you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. Leave comments down below. Let us know that you enjoy the Bomar Show and and let us know what you like about it, you know? I mean, it lets Sarah and I know that all this content we produce for free is worth it for all of you guys. And it's worth all the hassle of self-filming and everything it takes. But I love sharing these hunts with you guys. I really do. Stories I'll be able to share for generations to come and the videos will live forever on YouTube for all of you to enjoy. And it's my greatest passion. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. Man. Well guys, I'll see you on the next time.